So now we're recording. So I didn't do all that trouble she did. I just took my cabbage, ripped it up, threw it in the pot with water, and boiled the heck out of it. And so that's all I did. And to do this right, and mine's a little bluer, probably because of that, because of the amount of water I used. But to do this right, my house stunk. But I ate a lot of the cabbage before I threw the rest of it away. Um, you should measure exactly the same amounts. And then with the materials you put in there, you should measure exactly the same amounts so you can compare the acidity. Because what will happen is, if you have different acids, you'll get different shades of red or pink. And so, I don't know what alcohol is in there. But I thought, well, I have this buffer solution and it's sold. So it should be basic, right? See what happens. I don't know how basic it is because it's a buffer solution. So it's not changing much. And maybe that's because it's a buffer solution. If I go to the other end, that changes really fast. Oops. Yeah, this is my lemonade I make from it. That changes pretty fast, so a lot of hydrogen ions in that. Vinegar is also acid, right? happen. Maybe that's because there's a buffer in there. See what happens here. I didn't know what would happen with baking powder. I said, well, we'll just experiment. Not much. What about baking soda? And I forgot to bring my Coke or get a Coke. So not much with baking powder or baking soda, so those are fairly neutral. What else I got? Oh, alcohol. What do you think would happen with alcohol? Well, alcohol is made, it's OH, right? So maybe it'll turn green, but maybe not. Maybe not. So we don't have the base. have a base, we only have acids. So if we were looking for a base, what would we get? We, what, coffee, what should coffee be? What do you think? Oh, now that's interesting, because coffee is pretty acid. But obviously isn't as acid as this or that. So all these other things, baking soda and baking powder, are pretty basic. Anybody got a part of a Coke? No. What do you got? Mountain Dew. Now what would you expect these to do? Anything carbonated, you would think would turn red because it's slightly acid, because what's in a carbonated bev beverage? CO2, right? CO2 dissociates in water. <laughs> so you should be able to take it and you actually eventually make it more red by just blowing from your lungs the carbon dioxide that 
would come out in, in the air, it'd be heavier in carbon dioxide, you should be able to make even more paint. So it's just a fun little lab. You can play with stuff around the house with cabbage juice. It's all safe, as safe as the materials are. So if you go into the basement or the garage and you get some pretty intensive cleaning materials, you're going to get some high. You're going to get some basic ones because mostly, like things like uh, trisodium phosphates, those kind of things are going to be very basic, and they should turn this pretty green. Um, if we had lye, if I had bought it, brought, and I didn't think of it, my bottle of spray oven cleaner, it would have gotten very because it's caustic and I mean you get that on your hands and you can burn yourself pretty fast so there we go just a little demo so so the cool there's also I don't remember where I saw it there's a uh, I'll have to think about it if I can find the video it's a Mr. Science type video has a certain kind of a reaction where he builds these things, these different uh, solutions, and then when he mixes them together and he has them in a beaker with one of those magnetic spinners that go inside it, so it's always stirring it. The uh, he 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 called it a certain thing and I can't remember, but anyway, it turns colors and then it turns back. And then it turns back, and then it turns back, and then it oscillates back and forth between the colors. And there's a specific class of reactions he talks about that uh, do that. But this is just acid-base stuff, looking at pH because.